In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to schedule a meeting on Outlook for Teams. Whether you're coordinating a team meeting, setting up a quick catch up, or planning a large presentation, knowing how to efficiently schedule a meeting using Outlook for Teams will streamline your workflow. Let's dive right in. First, you'll want to start by navigating to the Microsoft Outlook login page. You can do this by opening your preferred internet browser and entering the Microsoft Outlook URL into the address bar, or simply searching for Microsoft Outlook login in your search engine of choice. Once the page loads, you should see an option to sign in. Click on that and enter your credentials, ensuring you're using the correct email and password associated with your Microsoft 365 account. After you've, you've logged in successfully, you'll be directed to the Outlook dashboard, which is your central hub for managing emails, calendar, and more. From there, the next step is to access your email, as the mail section is typically where you'll find and organize most of your communications. Out on the Outlook mail interface, you'll notice an array of features, but today, our focus is on setting up a meeting. So, let's move forward by locating the Teams option. Within the Outlook environment, locate and click on the Teams icon or link, depending on your user interface. This will launch Microsoft Teams, a platform that allows for seamless real-time collaboration and communication perfectly integrated with Outlook. If this is your first time using Teams in conjunction with Outlook, you might find it opens in a new window or tab within your browser. Once you've successfully navigated to Teams, you'll need to switch your focus to the chat section. Clicking on chat will give you a comprehensive view of all your ongoing conversations and discussions, but what you're aiming for here is to transition over to where you can plan and manage events, that is the calendar section. In Teams, look for a calendar icon or tab which is generally located on the left sidebar, although this may vary depending on your organization's layout. Clicking on calendar will present you with a full overview of your schedule, including any previous meetings, reminders, or tasks. This online calendar is a powerful tool, mirroring your Outlook calendar to help keep all your appointments and commitments synced and organized. Now that you're in the calendar view, the action really starts. Look for a button or link labeled New Meeting. This is typically found towards the top of the calendar interface. Clicking on New Meeting opens up a new screen where you can enter all the relevant details for your upcoming meeting. In this new meeting setup screen, you can fill out important details such as the meeting title, date and time, and the list of invitees. A great advantage of using Teams and Outlook together is the ability to see when your invitees are available, helping you select the optimal time for everyone involved. Be sure to write a clear meeting agenda or description in the area provided. This helps set clear expectations regarding the meeting purpose and topics to be discussed. Additionally, on this page, there are options to set up recurring meetings if this is something that needs to happen on a regular basis. Just look for a repeat or recurrence option and select the frequency that suits your needs, such as daily, weekly or monthly. This feature is particularly useful for weekly team briefings or project check-ins. Once you've filled in all the necessary details, double check everything for accuracy. This verifying step is crucial to ensure that there are no misunderstandings or scheduling conflicts. Now look for the save or send button, usually located towards the bottom of the meeting setup page. Clicking this will distribute the meeting invite to all participants, adding the meeting to your calendar and theirs. All that's left to do now is to await confirmation from your attendees. You will get notifications as they RSVP to the meeting, indicating whether they'll be able to attend or not. Outlook and Teams are designed to keep you well informed on the status of your meetings, so keep an eye on those updates. And there you have it. In just a few steps, you've learned how to schedule a meeting using Outlook for Teams. This method keeps everything organized, allowing you to focus on preparing for the meeting itself, securing the knowledge that the logistics are handled seamlessly. It's an efficient workflow that integrates communication and scheduling, making your life a lot easier. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check back for more helpful tutorials.